Hi, my name is Michael, and in this video, I will be demonstrating and reviewing Fulton's Fin Rip Table Saw Jig. Now these four strips was cut using the fin table saw ripping jig. If this thing is worth its price tag of $27.99, all four of these should be the same size. I mean, that's what he's claiming, right? I'm gonna measure one end, the middle, and the other end of each one of them. I have the caliper set on fractions of an inch. 
And as I take a me measurement, I'm just gonna lock it a little bit so I can take it off. And then I'll show it to you. You can see one eighth of an inch. One eighth of an inch. Okay, so you know it's not tapering or anything like that. That's the first one. Again, one eighth of an inch. One eighth of an inch. Same story again, one eighth of an inch. And it just repeats. Exactly one eighth of an inch. One eighth. One eighth, guys. That was all for the plywood. Then I took a piece of poplar hardwood. One eighth also. One eighth. One eighth, right? Okay. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would I want to do this? Well, when you rip pieces of wood in thin pieces, they become very flexible, right? And there's a whole um, segment of woodworking that has to do with bent lamination, where you cut strips of pieces of wood and you glue them back together and you put them in a fixture and to get it to hold like a curved shape or you know some type of you know bent shape so that's why you would want to have thin strips of wood now also you could use this for cutting exact sizes of um smaller widths of wood like two one and a half you know one and three quarters whatever the case for let's say like face framing and you want them to all be the same consistent width this works excellent for that as well now, the one eighth of an inch, I think has a particular value for edge banding. For example, if, if I have, let's say this was a shelf and I didn't want to have the ply showing. Perfect. Apply some glue on both surfaces could use some clamps to hold it for about 30 minutes or you could use pin nails and you'll have a beautifully band shelf so not only it provides a safety feature in that you're not dealing with a thin piece of wood trapped between the fence and the saw blade but also, it gives you a controlled way and a consistent way of coming up with a particular width. Peachtree Woodworker for me is very convenient and I've been dealing with them for a long time. They have their own in-house brand called Fulton and that particular product is a Fulton product. And for under $30, I think it's a worthwhile investment for any woodworker. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to be notified when new content is dropped on this channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and drop a comment down below.